we really need to get to the bottom of this. The bottom of getting ownership of three land parcels along North Florida Avenue that hold nearly 300 graves from Zion Cemetery, believed to be the first black burial ground in Tampa. The Housing Authority can't swap land for their land, but we need um, some other entity or person uh, with funding. Over the last year, archaeologists found more than 125 graves on the Tampa Housing Authority's Robles Park Village property, more than 50 at an adjacent towing lot, and about 115 more at another lot owned by businessman Richard Gonsmart. The property was all initially owned by a black businessman named Richard Doby, but through a series of lawsuits, the land was taken away and the cemetery was destroyed and built right over. We want to unify all three of these on our own properties. Right now, all eyes are on the city of Tampa because while no one today is responsible for the historic black cemetery being destroyed amid conversations about systemic racism, some say it's a historical wrong the city should make right. This happened many years ago but they can correct the problem. There have been talks of a land swap but Tampa says it was not part of those conversations. I keep hearing about land swap, but that is not something that I have been made aware of. Tell me who I need to call. I can't tell you who you need to call because you have not told me who it is that advanced the idea of the land swap. Can anybody please explain to me why we haven't moved forward on this? Crickets, anything? Okay. That, that's the city of Tampa. That shows how much we matter.